This is gonna be my empties video from the month of April. I finished all of these products in April. I didn't finish them start to finish. Some of these I've been working on for a very long time. As usual, I'm gonna start off with the makeup, all the makeup that I finished off, and then I'll break it up in different categories. I'll link all of them down in the description box below in case you wanted to bounce around between makeup, skincare, hair care, whatever. It's all down there in the times that everything starts. So starting with makeup, I do have this product here. This is just a little deluxe size. This showed up in one of my Sephora play boxes, but this is the Sephora Lash Craft length and volume mascara. I really enjoyed this surprisingly. I heard a couple of people, I think, I think it might have been Lisa Stevens that was talking about this. I'm not sure. I think it was. <laughs> I think this is the same mascara. I don't think it's a tubing mascara, but it has the same like removal method. So that's what the brush looks like. It's a soft bristle brush. It's not silicone or pokey or anything, but you paint it on and then when you go to take it off, you can just get some warm water and just pull it off like you would a tubing mascara. I really love this. It's just a little teeny baby mascara, so I don't know. It didn't have a ton of mascara in it, but I think the full size is only like 12 bucks. So I'll definitely add this to my wish list to maybe repurchase in the future. I liked the length that I got from this. I liked the volume. I liked it. I, I really enjoyed this and that was a big surprise for me because I didn't really ex expect very much from this little Sephora mascara, but it was a nice surprise. I had this product in my Forgotten Loves project pan and I had just a tiny little bit left in it at the last update like the finale update but I finally finished off my Tarte Park Avenue Princess mini size bronzer this one only had three grams of product in here so it wasn't nearly the size of the full size but I finally finished off this little guy here I had to repress this I'll include my video on how I repress products in case you're curious about repressing anything I'll link that up in the cards up there and in the description box but I like this one I like the NARS Laguna just a touch better than I like this one, but this was a good one. So I am very happy to finally have the full size and the mini size moved out of my collection and maybe I'll repurchase it in the future, but I think I'm gonna move through the rest of the bronzers that I have currently before I go and repurchase it. I had just this little foil sample of the Hourglass mineral primer, like the Veil mineral primer. This has an SPF of 15, which I appreciate. It's not a ton, but at least it's something. I used up this little sample and I liked it so much that I purchased just the little deluxe size, like the travel size. I think it was like $19 or something. I purchased that at the VIB sale. So again, I'll link that up in the cards up there. If you haven't seen that video, it's pretty long. I enjoyed this. It's very smoothing. I do have dry skin and I really appreciated how this felt going on and I liked how my foundation set over the top of it. I liked how concealer and everything built on top of it. So this is great. If you have dry skin, I definitely recommend checking that one out. I have two other products that were finished in the Forgotten Loves Project Pan. The first one, this is my Clinique Super Balance Foundation. I really like this. If you like a dewy, lighter coverage foundation. If you have dry skin, this is a nice one. I have the shade, what is the shade? 27, which is alabaster. And it's just a little bit too dark for me, but it's okay in the summertime. But anyway, this one, I was very happy to get a foundation out of the way. And then I also finished this one off. I'm really sad because I really miss this shade. This purple shade is so pretty. This is one of the Mali liquid lipsticks in the shade Orchid. Now these are the high shine liquid lipsticks, which means they're just a super opaque gloss, a very thick gloss. So they are a bit sticky and tacky on the lips, but they're not, they're not overly sticky is what I'm saying. Like they feel pretty smooth on the lips. I really love this color. It was like this very light, milky kind of pinky purple sort of color with a little bit more purple in it. I loved this. I did pop the stopper out of this and I finished all that I could out of here. So very happy to have this guy knocked out. Even though I miss the shade, I'm very happy to have this one moved out of the way. I have this product here. I used to only use this on my upper lash line when I was wearing false lashes, but I have pulled this out recently. One of my favorite liners died, uh, not last month, but the month before. And so I was kind of pulling different liners out of my collection. And this one, it doesn't have a ton of product, but I really enjoy this. This is actually the second one of these that I've had. This is the e.l.f. 
expert liquid liner in the shade jet black and like i said it just has a tiny little compartment here for the actual liner so you don't get a ton in here but it does come with like a brush tip there's nothing in this i can sit here and smack it against my hand constantly but i have to do that probably 10 times just to line the upper lash line so Fortunately, this guy is dead. I'm gonna let it go. I've been using up a lot of my liners recently. It's only like three bucks. I do enjoy this. I like the shape of it. I like everything about it. So I'll probably end up repurchasing this again in the future at some point, probably the distant future though. I really appreciated it for like the inner corner and it doesn't dry too shiny. Like it has like this semi matte kind of finish to it, like a satin finish. So I really liked it. This product was in my project 10 pan and I've been working on this it feels like forever i initially purchased this to use as an eye base like a cream shadow base for my eyes i kind of transitioned it over to using in my eyebrows since it was a very cool toned kind of grayish taupey shade this is the maybelline color tattoo in toughest hope this has been around for so long i'm so happy this is finally done but if you look in here you can kind of see the shade that this was it kind of, it, it definitely dried out a lot towards the end of its life. And I almost feel like it was better with a thicker formula like that once it had dried out quite a bit to use in the brows. But I would use this on the weekends. It's very light. If you have super dark hair like I do and you don't like a warm tone product in your brows and you have this in your collection, definitely pull this out and try it in the brows. I, I don't think that you would be disappointed and I think you'd be surprised how nice that this looks in the actual brows. I have a lip product here. This one was in my Forgotten Loves project pan but I didn't end up finishing it off. This is the Mary Kay Vanilla Berry Lip Balm. I liked this. My sister gave this to me a couple Christmases ago and so it's very sentimental to me. I really like the fragrance on this. It's not very hydrating on the lips though. I definitely have more more hydrating lip balms and lip glosses in my collection, but I cut this open. I got everything out of here that I possibly could. I like the fragrance on this. Would I repurchase it again? No, but if my sister ever got me another one similar to this, I would use it. I liked it. Uh, it was a super slick, slippery feeling on the lips. It wasn't like tacky and it didn't really stick to the lips, but I did enjoy it. So there was that one. I'm happy to have that one finished off. I also have this product here. This is just a little deluxe size. This is the Lancome, what is this called? The Sills Booster XL. This is their vitamin infused mascara primer. Definitely felt a bit clumpy. You can see there is just a very white product you paint it on and then you go in with your mascara and paint over it and it's supposed to lengthen your lashes it's supposed to add more volume now i always have trouble with not knowing whether i should let this product dry before putting my mascara on or putting it on when it's still kind of tacky i kind of did both i didn't really pinpoint how i'm supposed to be using this so if you have a preferred method on how you think that this kind of a product like an eyelash primer works best let me know because I, I couldn't really tell a difference between it and i don't know it definitely was clumpy until it started to dry out once it started to dry out i didn't feel like my lashes were too clumpy so it was okay um i definitely wouldn't purchase a full size of that and finally for makeup products this very last one this is my mac lipstick in cream cup this is one of their cream sheen formulas and this guy is done it's flat this that's sticking out is just part of the plastic holder so i have a video where i went through and i swatched all of my mac lipsticks on the lips i think i had 34 mac lipsticks that i swatched on the lips and then i went through and i did a complete mac lipstick declutter on my channel too so i'll link both of those videos down in the description box for you in case you're curious but i'm definitely keeping this i'm putting this in my back to mac bag would you guys be interested in seeing a video on me exchanging some of my back to mac products Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I'm gonna move on to some nail products now. The first one, this is my all-time favorite top coat. This is the Sash Feet Fast Dry Top Coat. Once it gets down to about a quarter of the product in here, it usually dries out and it doesn't really dry on the nails like it should. So this one, the last time that I used this, it kind of ruined my manicure. So this guy is dead. I love the Sash Feet. It dries incredibly fast. I have never found a top coat that dries as fast as this one. One and it's super shiny on the nails and it stays shiny so I love that I also have this one here this is the wet and wild 
nail color, the Wild Shine nail color. This is just the protective base and top coat. I didn't really enjoy this on my fingertips just because I felt like it didn't dry quick enough, but I did enjoy this on the toenails because I don't really touch a lot of stuff with my toes like I do with my fingertips. Also, I did use this to kind of coat some of the paper beads. I was making some bracelets and this like this bead here this is a paper bead and that one is a paper bead and so you just kind of seal them with a little bit of clear nail polish it did the job i probably won't repurchase it though even though it is a dollar eh, i don't know i just have other ones that i prefer over this one finally for nails i have the onyx professional nail polish remover. This is their Salon Strength formula. This is supposed to be enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil. This is what it looks like here. I picked this up at Walmart, I believe, and the reason why I kept it around for so long, I probably had this for a good two years, is because it has this pump cap. I love this. So I recently got a new one that came with a pump cap, so I can let this one go finally, but I did really enjoy the container that this came in. It was a great product. I just was refilling it for a very long time, but I finally finished off what was left in here. On to skincare products. I have been working on this mask for, I think we're coming up on three years at least. <laughs> this is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This is their peel off mask right here. So long, so long to get through this, but it's finally done. This was in my products that I wanna finish off before the end of, I think 2017, and I didn't even, I think I was about halfway finished with it, so I finally finished this off. I've been focusing on this quite a bit. This does hurt incredibly bad if you put a super thin layer on your face, but if you put a thicker layer on, let it dry down completely, you can peel it off in like one sheet. It doesn't hurt as bad as if you have that super thin layer. So even though it says, apply a thin layer don't listen to the instructions apply a thick layer or you're gonna cry when you remove that Ooh, I really love this eye makeup remover this is the Lancome by Facile double action eye makeup remover this was just a little hundred point perk I have had this in the past that was sent to me from Oxley loved every drop of it but I think I might have one more of these or maybe this was my last one um, uh, I think this was my last one actually, so I'm kind of bummed about it, but I think they started selling these little mini ones, but anytime that Sephora has these as a 100 point perk, I snatch up a couple of them if I can, or it's fantastic. Love that eye makeup remover. I also have an eye cream here. This one showed up in a Sephora play box, I think at the end of last year. Like this has been around for a long time. Eye creams take eons to use up. This one, this is the Belief, what is this called? Moisturizing Eye Balm, their essential eye cream right here. I didn't really enjoy this, especially, I don't know, it felt cooling underneath the eyes. I really liked the packaging that this came in. I didn't feel like it was an intense of a moisturizing product underneath the eyes. Is you know, uh, that I need. So this one, I definitely would not purchase this in the future in the full size. I probably wouldn't even pick it up if I saw it as a 100 point perk or something. I definitely prefer my fresh age delay eye concentrate over this one, but it is probably double the price. So, you know, eh. this one, I had something spilled all over this. This is the Patchology Flash Patch Hydrating Lip Gels. Apologize about the state of the package here, but these are really fun. Honestly, do I feel like they replace a lip balm? No. Do I feel like they replace a lip treatment? No. You really have to scrub your lips, like exfoliate them, and then toss on a lip mask, you know, maybe put on a face mask to kind of kick back. I think it's more about the experience with this product than anything else. Does it hydrate a little bit? Yeah. Like I could definitely see a difference in my lips just from using this, but it wasn't a permanent fix. It was just a temporary one and probably just a 24 hour temporary fix. They smell amazing. All of the Patchology mask items that I've tried in the past smell just delightful. I've talked about this previously as well, but this almost has like a sheen to it. Can you see those little micro shimmers in it? It looks beautiful. These are fantastic for taking photos on like Instagram and stuff, but mm, I would buy them if I saw them on sale. Definitely, maybe like a five pack. I probably wouldn't pick up a big pack of these, but they're very wobbly as you can see here. It's almost like a jello 
formula. I had a five pack of these Patchology lip gels sent to me complimentary from Patchology through the Octoly website. So I really liked using them. I think this was my last one actually. So you won't see them anymore in my empties videos in case you're getting kind of sick of them. I also had this product here. This is my all time favorite face toner. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion in the number two version. It's a light purple color. And this one is for dry or combination skin. I recently had a subscriber mention to me that one of the you know top, I think top six ingredients or something or top 10 ingredients in this product is alcohol. So I recently picked up a backup of this in the full size as well as a Clinique toner that doesn't have alcohol in it. You'll see that in my uh, Sephora VIB cell haul. I love this stuff. I don't know why I love it so much. I just like the feeling that it leaves on my skin. It almost burns, but I kind of like the burn. It's probably the alcohol that's burning my skin, so I probably should not purchase that again in the future, but more than likely, I probably will. I also have this Clinique product here. This is their liquid facial soap, just the mild version. I really like this. It's very gentle, and I feel like it gets my face squeaky clean. I feel like if I use this on a consistent basis, then I don't have breakouts. I'm battling with a forehead breakout still from that stupid brow serum that I was using, but I'm done with the brow serum. I'm just trying to clear up my skin from using it, but this is a great one. I've never purchased the full size of this. I've only used their bar soap for the face or I use these little baby size samples. I get these all the stinking time so I never have to purchase it with my own money. This item, this was sent to me a very long time ago from Clarins through the Octoly website but this is the Clarins Multi-Active U or Instant Eye Reviver and it's supposed to target the fine lines. I wasn't quite sure if I should include this in the makeup or the skincare. Um, you can see my marks on the back here. It has this metal cooling tip that feels really nice underneath the eye area and it deep puffs. But the product was like this opalescent kind of glowy product so it gave the slightest little bit of a opalescent reflection under the eyes. Your dark circles didn't look as prominent when you had this product on but I don't think that I would purchase this with my own money, honestly. I did enjoy using it. I didn't really have anything that I could find that was wrong with this. It did peel up a little bit, ball up a little bit underneath the eyes if I layered too many skincare products together. But overall, there was nothing really that I could say that was a negative about this product. I just probably wouldn't spend my own money on it. I have some under eye creams that I really love and some other skincare products that I love. So. As much as I love the cooling tip on this item, I'm probably not gonna repurchase it, so. Two more little products here. I have a pack of the number seven Instant Results Revitalizing Hydrogel Eye Masks. These were sent to me, I think I had a five pack, I think it was a five pack that was sent to me complimentary from number seven through the Octoly website, but these are really cool. So this is what these look like when they show up. But when you have these on the face here, the little like opalescent glitters and shimmers in here really catch the light and it looks so pretty on the skin. I did write on the back of these that these adhere really well to the under eye area right along here. They do not move whatsoever. I've had some from Patchology in the past, they were okay, they did move down like that much, just a tiny little bit. Kind of frustrating because you have to keep sliding them back up, sliding them back up. And I also put down on the back here that I would leave these on for a good 15 to 20 minutes just because I liked the way that they felt underneath the eyes. After I left them on for the full 20 minutes, my under eye area felt great. It was definitely more hydrated and I would definitely repurchase these like a five pack again in the future. I know that they carry these at Target. I think they carry them at Ulta. Obviously you could get them off the website from number seven, but I think these were great. I really enjoyed those a lot. So, and I think the full size is only like 15 bucks. Onto hair products. Um, I have a decent amount here, not too many though. So this first one, I've been working on this for a very long time. I really like the way that this looks at the ends of my hair. This is the Moroccan oil treatment. This is for all hair types. It's just a little hair oil here. There's not a ton in here, but you use such a small amount that this lasts forever. I've been using this for months on a daily basis. This smells really great. It's almost like a florally clean kind of fragrance. 
I don't know, it smells delightful. I really like having that scent in my hair and using this definitely makes me want to try out other Moroccan hair products. So if you have any that you really love, definitely let me know. I finished off another one of these Batiste dry shampoos. It's just the clean and classic original fragrance right here. I like this one. This one is actually a vegan product and it is not tested on animals. This is a pretty good one. This one will leave just the slightest little bit of a white cast in the hair. So, mm, I mean, it's it's workable. I can work it into the roots, but it just takes a lot more work than something like my Clarine dry shampoo. They also have a dark one of these. I think it's called like the brunettes or for dark tones or something. So I do like that one, but it leaves little speckles of brown all over on the forehead, unless I put my hand down before I spray it so I don't know I I think I'll stick with this one over the dark tinted one but eh. it's a good dry shampoo I like the fragrance on it oh man this was so good I really love the fragrance on this product here I'm probably gonna add this to my wish list for the fall VIB sale but this is the Amica soul food nourishing mask it's just a kind of deep mask treatment for your hair. I loved having my hair smell like this, so eh, I'll probably purchase this in the big tub when I can get 20% off of it. I think they carry that at Ulta, don't they? If I get a 20% off coupon from Ulta, then I'll probably pick it up from Ulta instead of Sephora. I also touched up my roots super early on in the month of April. Like It's getting to the point where I need to re- do my roots. I probably got close to half an inch of roots growing out, but this is the Revlon Color Silk Hair Dye. This is just super cheap. I went back to this. I was using a semi-permanent dye for a while, but I just went back to this. It's so easy. It's like under $3 from Walmart, and I just get the shade number 11, which is soft black. So it's super easy. You can just paint it on in the roots and not pull it through the rest of the hair, and it does a great job. I don't feel like it fades whatsoever. So the last hair product that I have is from a set that was sent to me. This is the Hot Tresses intensive and hydrating rehab conditioner. And then I also have the Hot Tresses sulfate-free rehab shampoo. So this, uh, there was a trio that was sent to me complimentary from the, from Hot Tresses through the Octoly website. I liked these. I liked the fragrance on these. I liked the fragrance on the shampoo better than I did on the conditioner. I took these to New York with me. I thought they were the perfect size and they were, but these are supposed to be good for your hair if you don't want to heat style your hair. So that's why I picked them up. These are sulfate free and I felt like the shampoo, it did suds up pretty good but if it wasn't sudsing up initially, just like with all sulfate-free shampoos, I feel like if I do one wash, rinse it out, and then the second wash that I go through and scrub into the roots, it really sudses up on the second wash. These are Australian made, Australian owned, they're 100% vegan, not tested on animals. I really like how the first ingredient on the sulfate-free shampoo is Australian water. <laughs> so anyway, these are pretty cool. I have no idea where you can pick them up. I do have a link through the Octoly website so you can find them. So I'll put that down there in the description box for you. I don't know if I would purchase those on my own with my own money, but if I saw them in a set or something, eh, I'd probably buy the set again. I have some lotions now. I did a pretty decent job, I felt like. I have this first one here. This is the Bath & Body Works Coconut Lime Breeze Triple Moisture Body Cream. They have since discontinued this line. They don't have the Triple Moisture Body Creams anymore, I don't think. My all-time favorite fragrance from Bath & Body works is the coconut lime verbena but they've discontinued that every single fragrance that i love from bath and body works they always discontinue so i'm not gonna say anymore if something is my favorite fragrance this one in coconut lime breeze is extremely similar this is as close as you can get i know they still have the coconut lime verbena verbena hand foaming hand wash on the website but you can only pick it up through the website which is kind of frustrating. I know they have wallflowers of that fragrance too. I don't know why they don't just bring it back already. I wish they would bring it back. It was so good. It was almost like a unisex fragrance too. So anyway, I really love this one. I think I have one more in my back stock and then I'll probably have to repurchase it in the future. Love, 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 love that fragrance. And then I also have this one here. This is the Jurgens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Moisturizer right here. This has 
vitamin C, E, and B5, and it's supposed to repair and heal extra dry skin. This was actually sent to me complimentary from Jergens probably six months ago or so. This was a pretty good one. Um, I felt like it was a bit sticky on the body, like especially the legs when you initially apply it, but after it dries down for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it's not sticky anymore. I really enjoy the fragrance on this. If they could bottle up this fragrance and just sell it <laughs> separately, I would buy it. It smells so good. It's almost like a soapy clean fragrance. And this lasts forever. Um, I feel like my gold bond lasts a really long time, but this one, it's almost like it's a super concentrated formula. It's a little bit runnier than something like gold bond but it lasts a really long time. So this one, I've been using it for a couple months now, finally finished it off. And finally, I have like some shower bathroom miscellaneous products, I guess you could call them. So first up, I have the Soap & Glory Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel Cream right here. This smells so good. This is the same fragrance as their, like their body butter, their Righteous Body Butter. That's exactly what this smells like. This is such an intense rosy fragrance, but I kind of love it. I don't know if I noticed that it was super moisturizing or anything, but I really liked having my skin smell like this when I got out of the shower. I also have this body scrub here. This is the I Am Organic Natural Skin Care Sugar Scrub Grateful in the Coconut and Green Tea fragrance here. Oh man, this was good. So this is a super natural product. Um, I just received a body oil from them in the citrus fragrance. I definitely preferred this fragrance, the coconut and green tea scent over the citrus. I specifically like to use this product when I was going to shave my legs. So I always have to exfoliate my legs before I shave them. So I would use this product and it almost leaves like this oily residue behind. So I think that that helped put like a buffer on my skin so that I didn't get razor burn. And I really enjoyed this for my feet, my elbows, any of those kind of generally rougher areas on the body. I really liked using this on those areas and I liked it. So I'll have to look up the price on this again. This was sent to me complimentary from I Am Organic a couple months back, probably six-ish months ago, but I thoroughly enjoyed everything about this. It will leave the bottom of your tub a little bit slippery, so just be careful with that. You really have to mix it up every single time that you use it too, because it will separate the sugar granules. will go to the bottom and the oils will sit at the top, but it has fantastic ingredients in here. You can read every single one of the ingredients. They're all organic, it's vegan, cruelty-free. This was cool, I really enjoyed it. I also have a toothpaste here. Um, sometimes I throw these in, sometimes I don't. This is the Colgate Optic White Sparkling White in the flavor sparkling mint. So I really like this, it's just a plain white toothpaste. I feel like it whitens the best out of all the standard toothpaste out on the market. And I like that it doesn't have little gritty pieces in it or little blue flecks. It's just a pure white whitening toothpaste and I really enjoy it. Anyway, those were all the products. That was the very last item that I have for my April empties. I know this is going out about a week late, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.